told him you never know. You never know. Yeah, looking back on it now, I would say I absolutely 100% lost their respect. Mm. Why wouldn't you? If I was one of them looking back at what I was doing and your decisions that you make off the field impact if I put food on mine, mm -hmm. yeah, I'd feel some type of way, 100%. Mm -hmm. I would say we wasted a draft pick to go get this guy who doesn't give a fuck. Right. And that's my only thing in life that I haven't been able to look back and like fully have closure on probably now that we talk about it real it's shit. Amazing. It's probably one of the only things that I haven't looked back on and been able to be like super, super okay with what happened. Yeah. I don't appreciate going to Cleveland for two years and impacting and wasting two years of Joe Thomas's career. Who's a yeah. guy that's going to be a 12 time pro bowler and going to be in the hall of fame. Mm -hmm. And I regret not going and being closer with these guys and being distant into the other life that I was living. Mm -hmm. And it's nuts. And, and to, to sit back and look at it now, it's a shameful thing and something that I have to look back. And at the end it, of the though. day, I can only say yo to those guys. And I feel like I've told them over the past couple of years, yeah. like I've got to the point where I've hit like clarity and I went and did Joe's podcast. I still talk to Joe Hayden. And some of these guys that were like foundation members of the Browns during this time, because I think we had the talent to do it, but we mm -hmm. had a young, a bad mix of people and a point to where I got to where I didn't give it everything I had to, to everybody else. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the grind in my mind like I did to be great in college like I did in Cleveland, and I feel disrespectful to the guys who were there being being legends mm -hmm. because they worked their fucking ass off. Mm -hmm. And at, at the this end of the day, it's, it's more than just one player, and I think it's a whole thing. I think it's camaraderie on the team the whole deal from top to bottom and the whole and the whole organization we just obviously didn't have it but i think i was a founding founding like part of that and the whole thing didn't go the way it should and it's it sucks and that's probably the only thing that i look back on and say yeah that i feel bad for through the whole thing it's not going to vegas on a bye week and like doing the whole shit and like being an yeah. asshole young punk kid yep. because that's what i was i enjoyed partying more than i did fucking studying a playbook sue mm -hmm. me I can yeah. look back now today and say it was the wrong decision to make, but at the end of the day, so, as a 21 year old kid, I was saying fuck. So you, you. think so? Because I know we've talked about this off screen a lot. You think that you think it was the wrong thing to do to, to act the way you acted. That's how you feel. I feel it was just the. It was just the. It, as I look back at it now, I think it's the. Uh, I think it was the route most traveled. I think it was the path like most taken. I think if you dropped anybody in my position, they would have done what I did. Yeah. I think it would have been manlier. I think it would have been more goaded yeah. and, and more legitimate to uh, to do it the other way and, and make the most of, of the talent of the whole thing and, and, and treat it with more respect than yeah. I did for sure. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I think I had a mindset that I still have a piece of today, by the way. A lot of this hasn't changed. The one thing I will look back and say is, I didn't change up for fucking anybody. And it wasn't the, the That's what I'm getting at. It wasn't the Sorry, it wasn't the GM of the Browns, or the owner of the Browns coming to me and say, Hey, come here and do this for a while. And I would just say no. Yeah. That's that doesn't vibe with me. That's not what I want. What and I will say I've never changed to who I am or what I am. But the biggest thing is I've accepted it for what it is. I am who I am. I'm gonna tailor bit and make parts of my game better that, that, in life. Right. But I am at the core who I am. You ready? 